Are you a content creator looking for effects to bring your videos to a whole new level? Welcome to Production Crate. Production Crate is the resource for graphics, visual effects, music, and much more. On top of that, these assets are compatible with your editing software. Get your unlimited free effects today or premium effects for only $49 a year. Make it awesome. What's poppin' guys? Welcome back to a brand new video. In this tutorial, I'm gonna show you guys exactly how to achieve this really, really cool cinematic look in Vegas Pro. And of course, I've done this so many times in different versions, but today we're gonna approach things a little bit differently. Otherwise, I'm not gonna be so like repetitive and create these same videos over and over again. In this video, I'm gonna show you guys something that I've never showed you guys before in like previous videos about cinematic looks. So if you guys are excited for this, and if you are excited also for this new way to give like really, really basic footage, if, if it's from your phone or like a like a simple camcorder or like a high definition or like a really high-end camera make sure to hit the like button down below subscribe if you're new as always and i would say let's get started creating this cinematic look obviously right after the intro All right, guys, so this is a clip that we shot last weekend. This is just in a field playing some guitar for the documentary. And what we're gonna do is apply some really, really cool color grading and some black bars onto it. Now, the thing is that so many years ago when I showed you guys like the Hollywood scene, film look and all that, I didn't really have my own LUT pack. So, so go to the description, get it for just a dollar, and then I'm gonna show you how you can apply these actual authentic new LUT filters that are now available for you. So what we're gonna do first of all is playback through our clip and let's see what it looks like so this is shot on a black magic camera with a sigma lens so this is just like to have some b-roll clips over when i'm talking in the documentary and all that so it looks really really cool and it has a really cool like depth of field so what we're going to do first of all is if we're going to grade this first before we're going to add these black bars so once you got the lut filter pack extract it onto your computer. What we're gonna do is we're gonna hit the video effects tab and we're gonna scroll all the way down until we see LUT. Right here it says LUT filter. So then we're gonna drag on the default one onto our clip and then we will have this box. And right here, this is the menu where you want to apply your LUT filters onto it. So we're gonna pick the LUT filters from our pack. So we're going to hit browse right here. So then what we're gonna do is we're going to hit this LUT folder. And right here, if I make this window a little bit bigger, as you can see, we have 20 LUT filters that we can apply onto our clip. So let's start off with LUT1.cube. So as you can see, that makes things a lot darker and a lot like colder and bluer because it has a lot of blue highlights onto it. So of course you can first mess around with like which kind of filter looks the best. So to undo this, let's press Control Z and let's just click on browse and let's pick LUT2. So then you want to go through this entire folder and of course, which one you actually want to use depends on what kind of video is it, you know, is it kind of like a documentary? Is it a vlog or is it like a montage or anything? So press Control Z every time Then you want to hit browse, go to LUT3 and let's see what that looks like. I think this looks very similar to like teal and orange or orange and teal, how you want to pronounce it. So then we're going to just press Control Z, go back and then we're going to, for example, pick LUT4. And I think this one looks actually pretty, pretty pretty epic on this clip. So let's play it back. This really highlights that this is shot at an evening. I think this is was around like the sunset around 9 p.m. So if I play this back, as you can see, it actually highlights all the colors and adds a lot of warmth to it. So of course, like how the quality turns out is also depending on what kind of camera do you have because LUT filters are actually pretty different than grading colors differently in Premiere Pro. I also made a tutorial about that. You can click through at the end of this video. So let's press Control Z to undo it and let's go back to our LUT filter for a second. So let's go ahead and let's pick LUT5. As you can see, these LUT filters are really, really amazing. They're actually adding a lot of warmth to your clip. This is just LUT5. Let's go to LUT6. We have so many different LUT filters we can apply onto it. So I'm gonna just let this play and I'm gonna just live change LUT filters. So as you can see, if I undo it for now, I can also, for example, pick the LUT7. That adds a lot of orange and a lot of warmth to it. 
let's go ahead and pick lot A. This adds a little bit more green to it. So I'm going to just browse through the lot pack so you guys can see what's contained in that pack, of course, before you pick it up. So this is actually making colors pop a lot if you pay attention to the American flag on my jacket. But it's a little bit too much. As you can see, my skin is not really looking natural anymore. So you just want to mess around with the strength with that. So go to this marker. And if you bring that marker down, you can just totally mess with like the strength and how far it goes into it. And because if you put it all the way, my skin is not really looking that realistic. So what I would just drag this down halfway Way to make things look a little bit better. So let's pick lot 11. Let's see what that looks like. This is kind of a basic one. You guys could imagine that while I was making these LUTs in After Effects, I specifically thought about cinematic ones, not just adding a little bit of brightness and export it as a .cube file. Everybody can do that. This really has to be something different. And of course, I just tried my best to simulate these movie effects with LUT filters. So let's go back and let's pick LUT 12 in the pack. Adds in a little bit more contrast, a little bit more green on the jacket and basically on the ground and on my pants as well. So let's go back and let's start this clip from the beginning. So then we're gonna just undo it. Let's go ahead and pick LUT 13. This is kind of like a guide through of what the LUT pack looks like. It's just a lot more than just contrast. This is what LUT 14 looks like. Now we're gonna go ahead and pick LUT 15. Let's see what that looks like. It adds in a lot more contrast onto it and a lot of green highlights. So let's, for example, pick the other LUTs one, LUT 20. I think this one suits also very well. It's so difficult to choose which kind of filter will actually look the best, but in my opinion, would be LUT 4. So let's go to browse and let me pick four. As you can see, this one is actually looking the best on this clip because of the sun is shining, you know, right onto my face and my guitar, and it just gives this cinematic look onto it. Now, let's move on to the cinematic black bars. There are two ways that you can add in these bars onto it. Now, I want to mention that if you're going to use the first way, which I'm going to show you right now, is dragging in an image of two black bars from the top and the bottom, like that, you're going to lose a little bit of footage from your frame. Because if I lower the opacity, right now my hair is also into the screen and the American flag on the left on my arm. But if I enable these black bars, it's going to just take away a little bit of footage and you have to film a little bit more further of a distance in order to keep everything in the frame if you want to use these black bars. That's the first way. If you just just go to Google Images and you type in black bar cinematic PNG. You're able to download these ones real simple. But the other way, which I actually recommend, is just delete the black bars and have your footage completely 1920 by 1080, the 16 by 9 resolution. And you want to go to the event pan crop icon of the clip. Now, what we're going to do, the first thing is we're going to uncheck the lock aspect ratio and we're going to also disable the size about center. Go to the very top of this entire screen until we have this marker and we're going to drag this one down. Now, as you can see, that is going to create our own cinematic bars. And the cool thing is that you can also do that, for example, at the bottom and make sure that they're equally as big. I'm going to make them a little bit smaller, though. OK, so now that we created our own cinematic bars in the event pan crop, it is very important that you will place this bottom icon and move freely the X and the Y. If we're going to put this one to the arrows pointing up and down, which allows us to choose which part of the section we're going to choose. So if you say, OK, I want to have a little bit more hair in the shot, you can just drag this image to the top. And as you can see, if I play this back, we have a lot more stuff in the frame right here. And it's not covering up our hair because we have black bars as a separate image on our timeline. But instead, we have done that in the event pan crop. And we can literally like move the footage down. So if I pause the video right here, and let's say that I want to have all my tuners of my guitar in the shot, the simplest thing on earth is just drag this guy down until we are at the very bottom and we can now choose what is going to be in the screen while we have our black bars onto the screen. It is actually that simple. So if we use the image from Google, we would have our hair covered up right here at the top because we made these bars in the event pan crop section. We can now just drag this guy up and decide like how much is going to be in the frame. So let's position it that way. And as you can see right now, this is just how to do it and how you can also make your video a lot more cinematic. All right, so let's make a quick comparison. So I have the top one without any effects, without any black bars. And I'm just going to make sure to create a fade out into the next clip so you guys get an idea. So if I play it back, this is the raw footage from the camera directly from the SD card onto a computer to these effects 
onto our clip. It is actually looking really, really cinematic. You can just use my love filter pack. You can pick up in the description down below for just a dollar. And then you can just create these cinem cinematic black bars for free in the FM pen crop in Vegas Pro. It is that simple, guys. It's really, really cool how you can simulate these Hollywood effects if you just apply a couple filters onto it. Well, just one blood filter and these cinematic black bars. Then if this tutorial went by too fast, make sure to just pause it and rewind it and do it at your own tempo. And it's really, really not that complicated. So guys, that's it for this video. This is how simple it is. Now you guys can just go ahead and create these really, really cool cinematic looks using these LUT filters for my pack. Like I've mentioned in the video, find the link down in the description, pick it up. It's just a dollar because I'm going to be honest with you. When I released it last week, they were selling out so fast. And of course I have like a really, really big stock of it, but maybe like the prices might go up if there's so many people picking it up, of course. So make sure to grab it right now while it's a dollar because I don't know in the future how high it's going to be. It could be, you know, go up to five dollars. Don't sleep on this deal. Get it for just a buck in the description down below. Thanks a lot for watching and I'll see you guys obviously in tomorrow's video.